بشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني إلما توكل على الله trust on Allah سبحانه وتعالى سورة الشورى آية نمبر 6 and those who have adopted patrons instead of Allah سبحانه وتعالى Allah is watching against them and you are not responsible for them let's see in detail wallazina and those who ittakhazu they made or adopt is from aqaza hamza qazal min from dunihi besides awliya awliya is close protecting friend or guardian awliya is from wali so this meaning inshallah we'll see in detail Allahu Allah Hafizun Hafizun is from Hafizu Protector or Guardian Alayhim over them Wa and Ma not Anta you Alayhim over them When it said Anta you Here uh, is for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Alayhim over them Be Vakil Definitely a trustee Or a affairs Making the disposable of affairs so here in this ayah, it is said to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you know, um, they are adopting other deities. Okay, other deities they are making their close protecting friend, awliya. Allahu hafizun alim, but Allah is only hafiz. Allah is protecting, and He is over everyone, over them. Okay. So, who is uh, taking other deities? First, in the context, if we'll see, uh, Quraysh of Makkah, Mushrikeen of Makkah. But after that, if we see, look around us, whoever is taking as awliya Allah, other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it can be any person, it can be idol, or it can be any worldly things, which you, you think good luck or bad luck, you know. Tagut. So these are the things which you take awliya other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the ayah, Vama anta alayhim bi vakil. And Allah Himself is watching them. And O Prophet, وسلم, you are just conveying the message. And Allah is definitely a vakil and He will take care of the matters. And this thing clear us that, you know, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is clearly mentioning this. Only Allah can do anything. Let's see some verses. And also first we have to see what is the detail of the wakil is. So here when we see, when we say wakil, al-wakil, you know, trustee, disposable, disposer of affairs, you know, guardian. So here one of the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-wakil. Wakil comes from the root waw kaf lam which points to three main meaning. The first meaning is to appoint or entrust for the care of management of something. Okay. First thing is to appoint or entrust for the care of management of something. The second main meaning is to be guardian of one's interest and the third to rely upon. Okay. All these three. And you know, this uh, wakil appears many times in the Quran. And this, the same word used for tawakkul. Like, you know, if you say tawakkul, I put my trust. And al mutawakkilin means the one who pr put trust. So, linguistically, the wakil of someone else is the person who is efficiently represents him or does what he is incapable of doing on his behalf. You know, we call this word wakil and he is my attorney and he, he will take care of this. But when we are talking of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he can do anything. We can't compare with the worldly uh, things, you know. Al-wakil is the ultimate trust, guardian and administrator of all things. And here, when we talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, al-wakil, we'll see few ayahs reference to this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
uh, talks about this in uh, Surah Al-Ali Imran, ayah number 173, Allah says, وَقَالُوا حَزْبُنَ اللَّهُ وَنِيمَ الْوَكِيلِ Allah is fully sufficient for us and the best one whom we trust. And in uh, Surah Tawbah also, حَزْبِ اللَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّهُ عَلَيْهِ تَوَكَّلْتُ وَهُوَ رَبُّ الْأَرْشِ الْأَزِيمِ and we'll see a few more ayahs, references, inshallah. Here, uh, there is one more reference. When Musa al-Islam, like uh, first time, when he saw Asa, he was scared. And he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he said in ayah number 62, as uh, Surah Shara, that he said, Never indeed with me is my Lord. He will guide me. Rabbi Sayahdeen. Allah is guiding me. So Allah, like Musa al-Islam, trust on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Same with Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa With the migration, it was so hard. Like uh, persecution was so severe. And Allah helped Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And those who are taking other deities other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what about them? In Surah Al-Kahf, in ayah number 50, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked Adam al-Islam to uh, ask all the angels to prostrate. When we said to the angels, prostrate yourself before Adam, they prostrate themselves except Iblis. He was from the jinn, jinn and he rebelled against the command of Allah. Do you still take him as a progeny, as a friend instead of me, while they are enemies to you? Evil he is a substitute of obedience to Allah for wrongdoers. This, you know, who are taking uh, Iblis as the deity, they are doing zalam. And this zalam, that they are doing wrong themselves. Okay? And there are few more references. Suratul Hud, in that um, it says, Wallahu ala kulli shayin wakil. Like you know, trust on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There it's mentioned shayin wakil. Here it is mentioned wama anta alayhim bi wakil. Before that, hafizun alayhim. If we see the detail of it, it is then possible from you, O Prophet, that you will وسلم, abandon some of what is being revealed to you and that your heart will be straightened thereby because they say. Why has a treasure not been sent down to him or an angel not come with him? You are but a warner and Allah take care of everything. Wallahu ala kulli shayin qadi. Like you know people demanding okay why don't like why Allah didn't send the treasure and so on and so forth. And there is one more ayah from Surah Al-Hud ayah number 57. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says inna rabbi ala kulli shayin hafiz. And surely my Lord is guardian, guardian over everything. Allah is guardian. Allah is Hafiz. And we have seen detail of the wakil, you know. So whenever we we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always, every time, for every little thing. You know, Sahaba, our companions, even tying the lace of the shoe, they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They tawakkul. But they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why don't we ask? We are going through such a tough time. Hasbun Allahu wa neem al wakil. When Ibrahim al Islam was put in the fire, he said so. So why don't we do trust? Just We are just saying the words or are we trusting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If somebody says, oh, if we go to that shrine and if you ask that person, you know, they will help you. No, it's not so. And you might have seen when you go to Medina, many people, they ask Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam instead of asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly. And they think like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will intercede. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam only intercede when Allah will give permission. Okay? There is a longer hadith in which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will be waiting on Hawza Qasr and all the people who did bidah and who did addition in the deen, they will be stopped over there. They can't meet and then he will ask what happened because they add or subtract in the deen. So whatever like Allah revealed through wahi 
and what Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us, we have to do ittibai sunnah. Jazakallah khair, subhanakallahumma bihamdika. Nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka, nastaghfiruka natu.